My Father in heaven, thank you for this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Thank you for all these people who are gathered here this hour. Make decisions for, decisions for our city. In that name I pray. Amen. 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 Have worked so far. Huh? None of the mics have worked so far.
we can bring it up the next meeting, whatever you say we need to do. Because I don't know. Oh, how, do you, how do you fellas feel uh, about donating the truck to the uh, fire, Dodge County Fire Association? And that then decide what to do with it. They give it to somebody who really need one. Yeah, that sounded good to me. Well, do you have any suggestions on it or any feelings? <clears throat> you know I'm on it. Oh, we should, I mean, if we put it on, <laughs> if we put it on good deal, I mean, I think, don't we have to pay like some kind of commission? Fee 10, 15 percent or something, whatever it sells for. Yeah, there is a commission. I, I don't recall right off. We we put one other item on there one time, but I don't remember what the commission was. It's and it's probably I'd say 10 percent. And then if you get, I mean, how much that truck weigh? 10, 10 pounds. I, I would guess 12 to 14, 12 to 15 pounds. And if you got some, you got what a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars for it. Yeah. And then you had to give them another hundred fifty. Um, it, now it might would you know it might be picked up by an apartment. Uh, there's actually some equipment on it that is of, of some more value than a truck is. But, uh, I can't say, my, but I'm, I'm thinking most likely uh, the apartment. If you have, if you put it in the in the ad is ad is where it is, which which is the only way we could really do it because I can't guarantee it's going to run when we get here. <clears throat> if you took that equipment off of it and kept it for yourself. Well, we've pretty much taken everything off that we had any use whatsoever for, mm -hmm. uh, but with the exception of the federal key, which uh, with the big wind-up siren, um, I was told that uh, you could put them on good deal. They bring thousand dollars by the set. I don't know if that's true or not. So we would it would come off regardless of what we did with it, because it's got an extra electronic siren. You don't have to have the federal key, mm -hmm. but we would take that off and. Possibly put it on the other day and sell it, get a little bit there. Um, like I say, the county wouldn't need, they wouldn't need the federal key. Yeah, just as well <clears throat> give it to them and it ain't, it isn't. And instead of sinking more money into it, I and mean, that's what we get sometimes, what it's, it's like, just the money bit, and we're still adding, putting into it, and it's not getting any better. Well, it, it pretty much got that way. It's, it's not been anything major expense, but it was, we were spending money on it. Regular, pretty, pretty regular. Yeah. Just with you, I mean, you give it to the county. Can we do that now? Do we have to wait? You can do it now. We can do that now. Well, I make a motion that we go ahead and minus the siren you're talking about and give it to the association. Okay. Did I hear a second on that? <coughs> I second it. Do I hear all, all in favor? Okay, that's the people we do. I thank y'all. That's like what I would like to have seen you do. So uh, I will address the association has a meeting next Thursday night. I will address the association then. Okay. So that we're uh, donating the truck, but that would make decisions to which department gets. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go to our lunch place over at Chief Sheffield. Okay, for the month of August, we patrolled 14,200 miles, used 1,290 gallons of gas, answered 1,129 calls, and worked 25 wrecks. Uh, <laughs> Becky, on this thing, do y'all have anything on here about uh, turn signals, not giving turn signals or something? Probably be an improper turn. On improper turn? Mm -hmm. Or pay to use turn signals. It just seems like more and more people got one hand on the wheel and one on a cell phone. Yeah. And none of them ever give any signal of which way they're going unless you know to warn you about it. I just see so much of it, I just wanted to tell her. Yeah, but I, in fact, I remember too, this, this is over the weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for Becky? I see Ryan, you got you me got back to. on there. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, any more questions? Okay, Becky, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we got to approve the monthly bills for August 26, the exception of the 9th, 2013. I hear most we approve those bills. Second. Second. All in favor? Okay. We got to have now the first reading of amendment to soil and erosion ordinance. Okay, and all of y'all should have a copy and hope you got one in your packet. Uh, it's a pretty big thing. 
and it's just some few changes and we already have an ordinance and we're just updating this so if some of y'all most of it is just uh, definitions uh, which we're having you know just updated uh, and uh, everything is highlighted that should be changed uh, in the in the ordinance and we just need to uh, do um, a motion tonight to approve the first reading. I make a motion to approve the first reading. Second. I second the motion. All in favor. Right, we need to approve, disapprove bids to remove limbs, leaves, and debris from James Avenue location. But <laughs> you might have more to get up. I can you turn this down just a tad? Uh, okay, it's now. Can y'all still hear me? What I'm squealing at? All right. Oh, okay. I have like one question. That ain't that. All right. The, la the last time we did this, okay, this is priced as a lump sum. I mean, it's like they, they've been out there and looked at this stuff and and we've got it rubbed off. They know exactly what all they've got to clean up, haul off. So it's going to grind it up? No. If or they don't want to grind it up, they can haul it off just like it is. It's up to them. If they want to grind it, there's nothing that says they have to grind it. Okay. So, and already I asked this question. It seemed like last time I think we about got who mm -hmm. Which that was the first time we ever did it. Didn't and, quite. And that's, we're trying several ways and to we think this might be the best so um, and overall it is much cheaper and we do have a good bit of stuff out there today i'll read off the um the bids uh mr alvin magnair eighteen thousand uh, dollars dixie dumpster twenty one thousand seven hundred otis grading Eighty-six thousand nine hundred, and true true tree service was twelve thousand. So I recommend that we let true tree. Uh, they've done some work for us before. Pretty responsible. Way below the rest of them. That's lower than what last year also. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure we we'll go with it. Go with what? Yeah, uh, twelve thousand. Two three, okay. Yeah. You'll hear you'll hear a second on that motion. I second. All in favor? Okay, we'll go with two three for twelve thousand. Okay, number six, approved, disapproved bids to replace roof on back portion of old Greyhound bus station building. Okay, and we did an option one and option two. Uh, y'all should have a copy of that. Uh, option one, replace the roof on the back portion of the old bus station building. Rework all eaves and overhangs on the outside and paint. Remove all asbestos in the building and on the rooftop. Uh, and then um, the low bidder on option one was Graham and Stustel, 14,330. Uh, Moore's roofing, 18,850. And I'll go ahead and read option two. Uh, we can do option one, don't do option two, or do both. Remove all lead paint from the building. Rework all windows and doors and prime and paint. Uh, Graham and Stustel was 6,325. Moore's roofing, 24,200. So um, Graham and Stustel was a little better on both of those. Discussion. Uh, excuse me. You said you could do one or the other. Yes, sir. We could. We could be able to do them both together tonight, or just do the back roof, which is the one that's really leaking now, and we really need to get it fixed. But if you do one without the other later, you're going to have to come back. And do right, and we may not get the same price. Okay. Also, you talk about lead paint. And you also talk about asbestos. Right. Well, asbestos do the first lead paint. You're gonna have people 
store, we're gonna have people stored in that building. And they say they have things not good for you. And, uh, but, well, I, option one said, doesn't say anything about that bank, but it's, it's on the site. Yeah. It's on the site. And that would take care of the rooms, where to be, and you said it, it ain't gonna fix the windows and everything, and they're gonna paint. So we would be ready if we go ahead and do this, we go right on into there, put stuff back in there. Right. And we, we get ready to use the grant money, right. and this would be deducted off of right. that. So right. that would help us. Well, I'm going to make a motion we do it. I'm going to make a motion we do option one and option two, and then we'll go from there. That's $20,655 compared to $43,050. I second that. Okay. Who seconded? Mr. Thomas. Oh, there's been a motion and a second. All in favor? All right, we'll go with Brett, uh, Graham stuff. We'll go for the blind chair. Okay. All right, number seven, approve or disapprove bids to extend water lines on Aviation Way. Okay. And most of y'all already know that Aviation Way is at the airport. Um, and this is um, to get the water to the last building uh, that hopefully they'll house an industry shortly. Uh, it was to connect to existing 16th water line at Aviation Way, extend the water line approximately 950 to 1,000 feet to the end of the building at the end of Aviation Way. And this would get the water up to that building so they could have uh, city water. Uh, Graham and Stustle, the bid was 12200 and Piles Plumbing, $25,480. This is something we do need to do, get this water out in that area where we can have new industry. I think in. there is an industry looking at it. Yeah, we definitely need to do this. <coughs> I should have done this three years ago. Amen. What did you say, Brad? I'll make a motion. Go ahead and prove it. Okay, on the this bid. On the break, I'll break the stuff. Yeah, it's dead still. Second. All in favor? All right, thank you, gentlemen. Number nine, Water Tower Road, 4th Avenue, Evergreen Circle. Did you get a number eight? Oh, yeah. I'm bad at skipping. You got to remind me that. Okay. This number eight is approved with a contribution to Dodge County Eastern Development Authority. I'd like to read something, please, to y'all. The Dodge County Eastern Development Authority has requested the sum for, of $10,000 for the purpose of job creation and to pursue the development of additional industries in Eastman. The economic improvement to the city in the form of additional jobs and the improvement of public property is a continuing public concern to the city of Eastman and its citizens. So I won't need a motion or something on this $10,000. I make a motion that we provide these funds for the Dodge Development Authority go ahead and promote businesses out to the airport and because it's an impact to the public. That's my motion. All right, we have a motion. Do I hear a second? Let's go ahead and this 10,000 Dodge County Eastman Development Authority. I second the motion. All in favor? Okay, thank you. All right now, number nine, Water Tower Road, 4th Avenue, Evergreen Circle. Okay. Um, we have the bid um, from Douglas Asphalt Materials, okay, and, and there's two projects in there. <clears throat> I'm calling it Tower Road. It goes into our water tower over here on Legion Drive. It's 370 feet long by 35 feet wide. Uh, and also the one on, uh, I wrote Second Avenue, I think, Second, yeah, Second and Fourth. Legion Drive going by Dr. John's office. Uh, that paving is 75 feet long times 24 feet wide. Uh, and that's a cost of $19,000. So I need to get a motion and second to. I make a motion with approve that. Uh, second. Second by Mr. Floyd. All in favor. Thank you. 
Okay, number 10, approval to close Main Street from 11 o'clock a.m. till 8 p.m. for the Fall Festival, October 26th. Make a motion with All right, got your second on that. I second. All in favor? Okay. Okay, go to the city manager's report. Okay, y'all should have copy of this uh, Alcor. Uh, they have sent uh, the paper is the anniversary, 125 years celebration. And they will be celebrating that Tuesday, October the 1st, uh, 1 o'clock to 7 p.m. And I hope all the council people can participate and go and anybody in the audience that would like to go, uh, I know they would appreciate us, us participating in that. Yeah, they're going to give a guided tour. For the plan. Yeah, I worked that back on the 25 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> How many years ago? <laughs> well, I, I did work down there about 40 years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're just saying dress appropriately, including long pants and closed toed shoes. Be physically able to walk across one half, half, one fourth mile. And children must be accompanied, accompanied by a, an adult. Okay. Well, think about well, it. Well, it takes to get in. Okay. All right. Anybody that's read the paper this week, I'm sure they've seen uh, public notice that we had in there. The city of Eastman will be hosting its third annual stream <laughs> cleanup on Saturday, September the 14th, 2013. If you are interested in keeping our streams and waterways clean, please join us at 9 o'clock a.m. across from the post office on 2nd Avenue. And so that's right down here, and we'll have bags that we can pick up paper and clean it up. So if anybody wants to help us, let's be there at 9 o'clock. I went there. I went last year. I invited all the city council to come that day. Fill up a bag. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd be there with the long street. You know, <laughs> picking those bags. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can give y'all a copy of this, but I hope that y'all have noticed this week that we've really tried to do some patching uh, with suitable weather. Uh, and I'll just kind of read off some of these. We try to get some in each district. Uh, First Avenue, or Highway 46 by the cemetery, Menor Ridge. Uh, College Street by the Chick King Legion Drive. Jessup between 5th and 7th, 14th between Creighton and Fitzgerald, Eastman and 15th, Main and 16th, Ada Street. There was three holes we patched on Ada. Nice, Lee, Dora. There was three holes we patched on Dora. Leach Street, uh, Park Avenue. There was four holes that we patched on it. Rose Street. We had two holes. 30 Main. That was a total of uh, about 22 locations. And if y'all notice, they're pretty big holes. They're not just this small ones. So we're trying to catch up uh, when we get a chance from all the rain that we've had. So also, y'all had to do a lot of work to the holes before you can get back to it any time, Jenny. And not last but least, um, And just to show y'all, we was awarded, uh, we went to Savannah Thursday uh, and got the grant Friday, $500,000, and this was for ditch drainage on uh, Bacon Heights. Uh -huh. And so we're very fortunate to, to have this. Long time and we're very appreciative of it, too. Yes, it's a long time been coming for yeah. So y'all will see what's going on there um, pretty soon. And I think that's all mine. Okay. Uh, we'll go for other business from the council. Uh, Mr. Prince, you have anything you want to bring up? Okay, Mr. Floyd? I don't have anything this time. Mr. Buddy? <coughs> yes. Sir. Oh. I have this nice little request list here. Oh. Downtown on the the uh, sidewalk 
from or it reminded me of Parkview as of the Conley Street, where old Conley Street Pharmacy used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, is it possible, a possible, or can we need to put a ramp, like a wheelchair ramp or something? And I think Miss Susan's one asked me about it. She's a beauty shop there, mm -hmm. care a lot of her residents and all to get their hair done and all. And there's no only way you can get up on the sidewalk is from either end of the street. What beauty shop is that? The new image. New image there. But like, I mean, anything in there trying to go mid, you know, midway the block, there's no way to get anybody up if they've got a walker or, you know, it's just dangerous to kind of step up. All right, we'll take a look at it. Yeah. And uh, have, we, have we got any trash cans or new trash Have we got any new trash cans or with some lids on them? I think we got a few, but I'm not sure they're new. Do you need somebody to? Okay, and then two, two for Miss Susan, that might be a dollar. The lids I read that broke off and I'll wear the empty one. Bob Butler didn't want to. Okay. Good turn. Good turn. <laughs> Please, ma'am. And I think that is that's all for me. Okay. No, I'm happy. You're happy. I'm happy. You're gonna be you happy. Happy. I got a half billion dollars. <laughs> 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 well, you, you, you got a half million. Well, my area. Hey, I used to live over there. Okay. Well, I got it for hours. Well, there you go. We live over there. We ain't gonna let you pass for nothing. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm happy too, Franklin. I don't okay. have anything to say. Does anybody in the office like to bring anything up at this time? Yes, sir, Betcha. Thank you, Coffee. Uh, okay. I noted number four is, uh, is changing of an ordinance. We have several ordinances in this town. I'm a victim of one called the sign ordinance where her <coughs> predecessor wrote me a letter talking about a sign being placed on one of our buildings and I had 30 days to remove it or I could go to jail for 30 days or pay some kind of money. Since then, I have seen nothing done with that ordinance except I took down my sign. The sign ordinance at this time means nothing as far as I can tell you. Also, the first of this year, y'all voted on this panel right here, except for one, excuse me, sir, voted on an order to keep Long more clippings from going into the street. Right. Becky admits that she has tried to stop it, but I think I'm right, Becky. You said nobody has been fined or. No, they can give me one. They, they have. Yeah, we got the warnings. Yeah. I haven't. Personally, I have not seen where the clippings stayed off the street, including what the city does on uh, what is going to the uh, county camp. The, on the other side of the railroad track, when y'all cleaned that, it just filled up the street. When they cut, when they cut in front of my house, you know, it gets out in the road. You can't stop. But I have not seen anything to stop that old, you know, for that ordinance to be enforced. And number four, y'all are to put in a new ordinance, and I just, I wish we could enforce what we got before we start adding to it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mitchell. Appreciate your comments. We will look into that. Anybody else? Yes. <clears throat> oh, who uh, listed over Colonel Avenue nine? Who over that? Who over that district? All right. All right. I don't have a driveway on Park Street. Again, when I was parking side, the curve for four or five minutes. I don't have a driveway. So. Oh, you don't have a block out. You don't have a block out on the curve. Curve and gutter. No, sir. Well, the city don't come up for the curb and curb. Well, I can't pull in off the street if I ain't got no gravel. Where, 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 where you live at? Right behind a rod and fuel home. What that? Behind a rod and fuel home. That's Poplar Street. Okay, I'll come down. You know, and another thing, <coughs> like putting the sign, like the people go to church over there, and the other church, they park outside the curb. You know what I mean? I done got a $114 ticket for parking in front of my house four or five minutes. And the church people be there a whole hour or two. This is this where I come back to the city council about, you know, if y'all need to check out things when B said that's her job, but we're over that district, we need to check into it too. 
I think Miss Becky has, and she has given warnings and uh, stopped people and told them that they didn't need to park there. I just checked with her after I talked to you earlier, mm -hmm. and, and she said that they, they have done it again. And another place about the police to be taking a break at all the same time. They broke in the dog place in the front side of facing the Mexican restaurant. My trailer got over there by Taylor Lane, Taylor Trailer Park. They stuck, pulled the actors out to wonder if they would be controlled in some of the area while parking together, taking a break all at the same time. That's why people break in places. We'll check into it all. You know what? You know what I mean? Coming to that's why I keep coming to the meeting. Something needs to be done. I mean, and you know what I mean? If I ain't got nowhere to park, where my park at? Are you saying that the curb goes all the way through the front of your house and no no way to get into the yard? No sir. Okay, we'll look into that. And Mr. Floyd's gonna go check on that for you. you. See when they came, when when they, when they started coming pulling the curve back there in the eighties, and they throw the ground way way up. That's what it is. See? My property separate from the property over there. So when they pulled the curve and stuff, they cut the ground way way too up. That not on front of my property. Well, what they did, you go look at what, it. What, 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 what they did, they split the driveway. Oh, Both of y'all the same on the same lot. They, they no, pulled one no driveway. Split. Ain't no split no driveway. No, no. that ain't what I'm, what I'm saying. They put one driveway there for the two houses. Is right. That what, huh? right, right. But that's what I was speaking about. Yeah. But well, see, I can't end on this man's property to park on mine. Well, it also, they get a driveway facing the other street, kind of. You know, the street coming straight up from one town to this way. And then they're down here on the property aisle. Okay, well, I'll work on it. I'll look, we'll work on look at it for you. All right. Thank you, Tony. Anybody else? Yeah. Come on up, Miss Face. Please explain number nine again. Did we get beds on the paving? And what are they doing on Evergreen? How far are we paving? Which one is that? Number nine, water Number tower. Nine. That's, that's the water tower out there. Uh, Legion Drive water tower. Mm -hmm. We paved that going into uh, by Pruitt's and the, I believe it's Scott Holders. Okay. That, that's where we paved. And then right over from there, going in to Fourth Avenue by Dr. Jones, that's what we're talking about right there. Mm -hmm. That's already been done. I know. It's okay. already been done. What about Evergreen Circle? What are we doing here? Evergreen Circle. We got. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Evergreen Circle. That is where Mr. Bobby. Uh, there by the. That's his district. There by the um, fire tower. We're going to put in some driveway pipe under that road to yes. try to help. At that new year. No, that's yeah. what we're doing. We're fixing that where it won't be flooding up all the time right there. Okay. But in the meantime, when you put the pipe to come down by Long of Ambrose, you're creating another problem. We're going to put it under the road there, by the fire tower, before we're going to put it. Coming under the road there. That's where the water where is the flow road. going. Ma'am? Where? Which way are you putting it under the road? Right there, coming into that entrance by the fire tower. Okay. By the fire tower. But if you go in, like you turn right to go into Evergreen Church. We're going to put it right there. All right. Where the ditch but is. They'll have openings, the drains on both sides. Yeah, where are, where are they go going out. to drain? Which way are you draining it? You're, you're thinking it's going towards the house, aren't right. you? Yeah. And, and that's the way it would be, any water coming down that road there. Well, that's not going to be visible. He is going to be flooded. Well. I hope it doesn't be that much uh, once we get used. The city uh, forest department's already put up these uh, hills that, to drain the water away from that ditch. That's helped a lot. That's helped a lot. But they didn't put a drain line under their driveway. No, no, they didn't. And no. I think we need the city needs to check more of that. We will. We'll check on. We'll, we'll make sure before Randy gets out there that it's not going to flow and hurt Mr. McLaren's house too. That ain't a bad idea either. But while you're doing it, you need to go on all the way down the road, 
stop that drainage that's draining into McGabry's yard from the other side of the road. Have you seen it back? Mm-hmm. Yes, the best when it rains on it. It is. It's a lawsuit fixed now. Yeah. And we I will look into it, Faye. We'll I support it. it. Anybody else? Come on up. Hey, first, I just want to commend you guys on the um, report thinking on donating that fire truck to the county so it could continue service. Um, my question was on the bus depot. Uh, with those fixes that you did it on today, would that pretty much bring it all up the code? Be good to go? It should. Yes. Yes. It's going to get rid of the lead. Yes, That's uh, it. It's going to put a roof on there and we'll be able to go in there and start storing stuff and no danger. Well, that was my uh, other point was that it seems like a big waste just to use that for storage. I would really encourage you guys to maybe think about using that as a business incubator. Maybe give someone some reduced rent, utilities, to open up a shop for a year, get something going. You know, maybe then they'll be successful enough to yeah, open up somewhere else. Yeah. But like I said, I, I know with all the money you put into it, you know, just for it to be storage, yeah. it just seems like a big limitation on it. Yeah, we'll look at all options. Oh, yeah, to do what's the best one to do. And then my final question was, I remember about a month or so back, you had said that you had reached out to some of the property owners over here on uh, College Street, uh, some of the buildings getting about the code. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know if you had any update on where that was at or if they were moving Not forward yet. with their business. Not yet, still working on that. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, so I'd like to hear a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second on it. I'll second. All in favor. Thank you.